Uh, if I had to put two words for it, I'd say reliability and speed. And in terms of reliability, aimpoint sights are second to none. I've been shooting aimpoint sights for about 15 years now in training environments and real world stuff overseas. And I can personally attest I've never seen a loss of zero because I was too hard on my equipment. And believe me, I've been very hard on my equipment of uh, fast roping out of helicopters and jumping out of airplanes and operating in temperatures of negative 20 degrees where everything's freezing up but still my endpoint sight remains unaffected up to heat indexes of 120 degrees plus getting in gunfights and countless hours of uh, training as well with endpoint sights I've just had, never had a problem they're never breaking um, never losing zero and for me that's a big win uh, aim point sights are second to none in reliability they're just little tanks even the micro series right here I would have been shooting something more like the comp M4 uh, back in uh, my day uh, but just uh, incredibly incredibly tough sight you could play baseball with this thing don't do it or you're an idiot but but you could <laughs> which is a cool option uh, if you're short on baseballs. Uh, anyway, uh, Aimpoint Pro right here, a less expensive option, and, and still, I mean, the, the stuff these things can go through. I watched one of these recently. I saw a picture where this thing uh, survived a structure fire. The case, it all melted to the rifle. The house was completely gone, and they pulled the Aimpoint out, and uh, it was an Aimpoint Pro, and it was still on, uh, which was just incredible. So, um, uh, anyway. Uh, you will definitely not be disappointed in re reliability. Uh, it will outlast you. You pass it down to your kids, I believe. The second thing I spoke to, oh, and hold on, let me talk about uh, as well. The micro series, when I first saw the micro series, uh, I, I looked at them years ago and uh, just even holding them in your hand, you're like, yeah, right. <laughs> There's no way this thing is reliable. It's just so tiny and it feels like you just got nothing but air in your hand. Be that as it may, I've watched torture tests of this initially with uh, Larry Vickers in collaboration with Daniel Defense Rifles. And they put this site through terrible, terrible uh, testing of uh, shooting it with a shotgun, ran over it with a truck, dragged it behind a truck, uh, buried it, uh, dropped it out of a helicopter, and blew it up with explosives. And finally, they cracked the aim point objective lens but the sight still remained on target, which was amazing to me. I thought that was really, really impressive. And still, I'm seeing incredible reliability even after the micro sights. This is an Aimpoint T2, and I highly recommend it. I believe this is the best red dot sight in the world. The second thing I spoke to with Aimpoint sights is the speed factor. What I want in a sight is I want an unmagnified optic with a simple red dot. The simple red dot as opposed to having something like a reticle or mill dots or a circle around it, all that to me is just visual noise. It's busyness that's pulling my eye away from where it should be focused, which is on the threat. Keeping both eyes open in my unmagnified optics, scanning my target area, I identify a threat, I snap up on target, and a red dot superimposes itself over the target as I focus on the target. You're not trying to really look through the sight, so it's not about your field of view. It's an unlimited field of view, meaning I, when I present my gun up on target, I'm not really even aware of this skeleton of a circle around here. So it could be bigger or smaller or square. It doesn't really matter. If you're noticing that, you're probably not using this correctly. Focus on the threat, red dot appears, and you can take your shot. Uh, so eliminating visual distractions with a simple red dot, I believe, is the fastest way to get on target. And it's more advantageous, I believe, for operating in low-light environments. And particularly if you're trying to use night vision, you have a down laser, your laser stops working, and you have to use your night vision to fall into your day optic. Having a simple red dot can be probably more advantageous, I believe, uh, to uh, go into work. Another thing that I speak to the speed aspect of it is aim points because of their incredible battery lives i'll probably get about five years on this battery in an aim point t2 before i'll have to change it amazing that means it's always left on so uh your rifle is down or wherever it's staged and all of a sudden you have to pick up and go to work you're able to do so without being like oh, oh power toggle on and ready to go it's one extra step and i don't like that i need rapid employment when you need a gun you need it right then and to have it always on, always ready, is a really good thing for me. Five year battery life on this. And then aim point sights will get between three to eight years battery depending on your power setting. 
and uh, what type of optic you're running. But five years, always ready, always on. I could go on and enumerate other reasons why I choose aim point sights of parallax reduction and whatnot. Uh, but rather than that, I'd rather just leave you with those two main ones to chew on, reliability and speed. You can't go wrong with an aim point. Hope this was helpful, guys. Train hard, train smart.